Okay, so today we are going to make anime ice shards. It's going to be pointy and shiny. Firstly, before we begin, I just want to give a huge thanks again to everyone supporting me on the Patreon. Your help is much appreciated. And for those who submitted renders for the stylized environment competition, hope everyone enjoyed it and the results will be out soon inshallah. Okay, so now we can start the tutorial. Alright, before we begin, I want to first model the shards that we are going to make. So firstly, you need to have this extra objects add-on enabled. It's a free add-on. Once you've done that, you, you can just go to meshes and add a gem mesh. And then we can edit the properties in this menu over here. So all I did was lower the segments to around 6, played with the table height, radius, pavilion height, and overall radius of the object. And then I rotated it 180 degrees on the Y axis. Alright, so now I'm just going to make the origin of the mesh at the bottom. So when I rotate it, it rotates from the bottom. And then I just duplicated it twice and rotated and scaled to my liking so that I have a nice cluster of ice shards. Once I've done that, before I begin shading, I'm just going to add a subdivision surface modifier by pressing Ctrl 1 and setting it to simple. This is going to be useful later on when we want to play with the highlights of the ice shards. Alright, we can delete this principal BSDF because we are not going to use it. We can bring in simply a diffuse shader because this shader is just going to be the thing that helps us control where the highlights of this ice is. So I'm going to bring in a shader to RGB in front of it, as well as a color ramp set to constant. I'm going to make three outputs, one total white, one a light blue, and one a dark blue. And that is our base shader. This is going to play as the foundation for our texture. So the first part that we are going to add is a bit more interesting color variation within the shadow of the ice. Because as you can see right now, it's a flat shade of blue. So I'm going to duplicate the color ramp and make it just two outputs or two sliders, black and white, and plugged into the factor of a mixed color. So I can add a Voronoi texture plug the color of the Voronoi texture in the A socket of that mix color and put a color ramp in front of that texture. Now I can just play with the sliders. I'm going to make the black come from the right and the white come from the left and I'm just going to make sure there are some Voronoi patterns in the shadow area of the mesh. All right. Now we can plug the base color into another mix color that is set to color dodge. So the base color is going to be in the A socket whilst the uh, Voronoi 3 we just made is going to be in the B. So as you can see, it makes some nice bright highlights within the shadow. I'm not going to make it so bright. I'm going to make the color dodge uh, mix color uh, a bit low on the factor. Uh, I just want to make it bright now so I can see uh, the Voronoi texture. Okay, now this is our full base color or shader done. So I'm just going to press Ctrl J so that I can have some organization within my shader. I'm just going to call this base and make the label size huge because I like huge labels. Okay, for the next part of the shader, I'm going to bring in a hue and saturation node so I can make this a bit brighter and pull up the saturation a little bit because um, we want it to have some color and not lose all the color due to it being too bright. Okay. So, I'll bring in a mixed color, so that now we can start adding the highlights on the edges of this shard. So a mixed color that is set to add, and then I'm going to bring a Fresnel node and plug a color ramp in front of that and make it constant. And there we go. As you can see, the Fresnel is making nice outlines on the edges of our model. And for the extra highlight shine, I'm going to add an emission, plug a shader to RGB in front of that emission, so that I can 
plug that emission into the B socket of the mix color that is set to add. And as you can see, it adds some nice highlights. I like it a lot. Okay, now that is the second part of our shader completed. I'm going to now control J that cluster of nodes and name it Shine. Because this is the main shine of our object. And now for the final part of the shader, I'm going to make snow particles on top of the ice shards and I'm going to make some snow at the bottom of the ice shard. So I'm going to duplicate a mix color and press Ctrl J to that mix color so that I can make a separate group. And I'm also going to duplicate or copy and paste the Voronoi tree we just made earlier and plug that into the B socket of the mix color set to add. This is going to be our snow particles on top of the ice. Okay, so I'm just going to play around with the color ramp and scale of the Voronoi texture and make it look as if it is snow on top of the ice. Alright, now I'm going to plug in the entire node 3 we just made into the ice socket of that mix color and now I'm going to add the snow at the bottom of the ice shards. Duplicate that mix color set to add. And we can bring a normal map. This normal map is going to help Blender locate where uh, on the mesh is the bottom of the mesh. We do, we do not want the snow to appear on the right or the left of the mesh, we want it to be at the bottom. So I'm going to bring a separate XYZ node and plug the Z axis into a math node and plug that math node into a color ramp set to constant. Okay, so it's going to look a bit weird uh, due to the geometry of the mesh, but don't worry about that because I'm going to make a quick fix for that. Okay, we can just bring in an emission and shader to RGB and plug that in front of that color ramp and plug the entire shader tree into the A socket of the mix color. Alright, so to fix that weird geometry problem, all you need to do is right click the mesh, click shade smooth by angle. If you have blender lower than 4.0, it's going to be set to auto smooth. And that fixes our problem. And since we have a subdivision set to simple, it, it also helps the geometry of our mesh. Well, that is our anime ice shader. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned a bunch from this. I certainly did learn a, a few things. Uh, by messing around with the shader. You can obviously decide to use or not use certain parts of the shader uh, because some parts uh, are not very necessary, like the last part of the shader, but that is always up to you. And I hope you enjoy playing around with this node tree. It's pretty fun to use and pretty fun to explore what it can do. But that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Alright, bye. Ba -ba 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 -ba.